Hi, I'm Bob Humphrey with another tip from Yamaha Outdoors. Today I'm out hunting, but you notice no gun, no bow. I'm hunting shed antlers. It's winter, and this is the time when bucks drop their antlers, and I'm out looking for them. Come on along, and I'll give you a few tips on how to find them. One thing that'll help you save some time and effort when looking for shed antlers is to pick areas hot with high deer concentrations. If you live in snow country like I do, they're easier to find because you just look for tracks in the snow. Concentrate your effort where the deer concentrate. So where do deer concentrate in the winter? Well, food sources is one place. If you have a feeder, that's great. Or if there are crop fields nearby, maybe along the edges of those. But the deer spend the majority of their time, possibly as much as two-thirds, 75, 80 percent of their day in a bedding area. So that's where you should really concentrate your effort. Okay, what's a bedding area look like? Well, it varies from one geographic area to another, but it's going to be something that affords protection, shelter from the elements. Um, often it's a place with a good softwood, a dense softwood canopy overhead to break the snow, uh, to break the wind. Uh, it may be a south-facing slope where they can bed down and absorb the rays of the sun to help ward off the cold just a little bit during the, the cold days um, and at night again softwood cover um, maybe a, a hill that's protected from the prevailing wind direction um, if you're mostly hardwoods down in the bottoms um, not in a high area so focus on those areas and there's a better chance you might find a shed antler there other areas you might want to concentrate your efforts are around obstacles something like a fence uh, a drainage ditch a waterway Someplace, something that a deer has to jump over, and when they land, it may jar their antlers loose at the time that they're ready to shed. Or an overhanging tree like this that they have to walk under, they may catch their antlers, and they may fall off as they go underneath. Okay, now here's an example of what I mean by an obstacle. Deer have to jump over this log, and when they land, maybe they drop some sheds. Now, while you're out hunting shed antlers, you're also hunting deer. You're looking for, for sign for next season and you come upon a surprise like this. Here's a nice rub and I'm going to keep this place in mind come next fall. Well, the, the snow's coming down a little bit heavier than expected and I've had a full day out here sh hunting shed antlers. So I'm going to head back to camp, but uh, I'll be back out here again another day. That's it for now. Please check back again soon and often with Yamaha Outdoors.